now, this is Papaya with Papaya Pythons. At every juncture, you have to make a decision. And we, in the python business, often end up accidentally keeping rats as pets. So this is our accidental pet, Simon. He was an extremely nice live rat that was supposed to be food, uh, but he was just too sweet and we liked him too much, so he became a pet. And then we had to get him a companion, of course. And so we ended up with a female rat and they ended up having babies. And one of the babies is Simon Jr. And you can see how similar these guys are in their coloration and in their temperament. They're both really nice, really good pet rats. And I just thought it would be nice to show you guys sort of the coat color genetics in rats because the rats and mice, the fanciers associations, the folks who bred for traits like this originally and who named them are a huge landmark in genetics. They're really where it started with coat color genetics. They're the reason that we know a lot of the mutations that exist in mammals especially. And it wasn't really until it was found in mice and rats that we could look at for it in horses and dogs and even sometimes humans who have pigment disorders. And that was how folks just learned a, a lot more about the molecular genetics behind color inheritance and pattern inheritance. So we should definitely have our hats off to animals like Simon and Simon Jr. for paving the way, pioneering the field in genetics research and letting us know today how some of these things work. For more videos like this, follow us, papayapythons.com, subscribe, and if you too have some accidental rat pets, please feel free to share pictures with us on social media. Thanks all.